All right, to start, let's make a little scene here. So I'll just add in a spatial node. Let's call this world. And then as a child, add in a mesh instance. I'll call it, let's see, plane. This will be the ground. And we'll just set the size to be 20 by 20. Then add in another mesh instance here. I'll just This will be a block. And put a cube mesh on it and then a material I'll put in a spatial material albedo set it to like red or something and then just duplicate this around a bit and then uh, on each of these I could change the color by click make unique go to color set it to a different color screen for that okay so I got some blocks there now I'm going to set up the actual mirror so again a mesh instance with a plane mesh on it I'll call this a mirror and then I'll make the size of this like 10 by 10 let's say and then I just move this over to here and I'll rotate it by 90 And move it up there so that's the mirror there and now uh, let's see finally we need to set up a let's see put another spatial node here and this will be camera base and then I'll make a camera child to that set it to current so the camera base I'm going to set right here by the mirror and then I'm going to move this camera back a little ways rotate it to face the mirror this camera base, let's see, move it up like that. Preview, okay, that looks like a good place there. And then I'm going to add an animation player to this and add in a new animation, doesn't matter what it's called, length of four. Let's set it to loop and play on awake. And then this, let's see, we'll rotate this to like 40 degrees, that seems good. And then put a keyframe for the rotation. Rotate it back 80 degrees, I'll put it to the middle, rotate it to 80 degrees, and put a keyframe there. If I play this back, you see it oscillates the camera there. Okay, now back to our mirror. Let's add a viewport as a child and add a camera as a child of the viewport, and then to the mirror also add in another spatial node, and I'll call this dummy cam. And then this camera here, be sure to set it to current. The viewport, I'll set the size to 500 by 500. It's not really important, it's just to debug. It's easier to see. Now I'm gonna go into this mirror. So what we need to do to create a mirror is when this camera is pointing here, we need to have this other camera pointing this way to reflect it, right? If it's pointing this way, this one needs to point this way, this one it's here that needs to point this way and we just get what it's seeing when we render that texture onto the screen we don't onto the mirror here but we don't want to just slap it on we need to project it on there so that base it uses a screen UV as the coordinates basically so to do this I'm going to create a new shader material on the mirror come in here new shader and we're going to use a really simple shader so it's going to be spatial unshaded and we're going to have a reflection texture here i'll call it and it's just a texture there and all we're going to do is in our fragment method we just set the albedo to sample the texture using the screen uv as coordinates and i flip it horizontally on the x that's just something i found you had to do and so now if i come back here if I go to shader parameters texture here, I can go new viewport texture and get the viewport there. And now you can see <laughs> it shows what this camera sees right now. If I were to like move this over here, you can see what this camera is seeing is being projected on the screen. And it's kind of warped because this screen is widescreen and I used a 500 by 500 size. So that's not really important. And you can see how it's projecting on there. 
as opposed to using the actual meshes coordinates where it would just be directly stuck on there everything the camera sees. So now to actually reflect this, we could use really complicated linear algebra to get the reflection vector from this camera to the mesh normal and then the position and I have to figure out the rotation from that. Or what we could do is, let's say I have this dummy camera here. If I simply, well actually it would be over here, let's say, so it would be behind it. So if I just go into transform, scale, and I just flip it on the Y, which is the normal, and then I set this dummy cam to have the same position and rotation as this main camera, and then I flip this back, this dummy camera is now perfectly reflected with this. It's way easier and simpler to do. So to do this, I'm going to come into the mirror here, add in a script, just clear all this out here. Um, so what we need to do is get a reference to the dummy cam and you have to use this dummy cam because the camera here since it's in a different it's in this viewport it counts kind of as a, if it's in a different scene so scaling this or moving this mirror doesn't affect it see it doesn't move even though it's a child of it so you have to use this dummy cam to move this and then you set this camera position to have the same global position as that so if I come in here I get a reference to the dummy camera get a reference to our mirror camera and then the first thing I'm going to do in the ready function is we're just going to add it to the mirrors group. Then the next thing we do is we're going to set the viewport size here to get the our project settings width and height, screen width and height, and just set that as a vector two, and set our viewport size to equal that. So it'll have the same the mirror camera will have the same resolution as our screen camera. And then we're going to have a update cam method that takes in the transform of the main camera. And then the first thing we do is we just flip it along the normal, set the dummy camera to have the same transform as the main camera. So that means it'll have the same rotation and position and everything. Then we flip it back and we set the mirror camera to have the same transform as the dummy camera. Right, so I'll have the same position rotation. Now one thing I found you have to do is you have to flip the mirror camera along its basis x-axis. I don't know. I kind of figured this out on accident. I'm not sure entirely what it does, but it doesn't work if you don't flip this basis vector here. So now you have that. Let's save this scene real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then we need to set this camera. Create script on this all it does is in the process method it's just going to call the update cam in the mirrors group and pass in its own transform and then one last thing you have to do if we go into the mirror here go into its material resource you have to click local to scene otherwise when I hit play this will be black I'm not sure why but it's something to do with viewport textures so if I hit play now you can see perfectly mirrored. Looks pretty good. Um, you'll notice there are two errors that got thrown. That's from using when you set local to scene for some reason when you hit play it throws these errors. I'm not sure why. It doesn't seem to do anything so I'm not worried about it. Uh, another thing you might notice is since this camera is mirrored behind the mirror here, if you put a block over here, put anything over here, right? it's rendering that even though you wouldn't want it to render that since it's behind the mirror you just want it to render what's in front of the mirror and there's not really a way that I've found to basically call everything behind the mirror with this this camera um, you could use the near value so this determines uh, it clips everything within that distance basically of the camera so if I set this to five, it would not render anything within five units of the camera here. So you could basically go through all the vertexes of this mesh 
see which one's the closest and then set the distance to it to be the near value for this. So that way the camera wouldn't render anything kind of past a half circle. If you put something like really close up to the camera or the, the mirror like over here, it would still render that, but anything like outside of this semicircle would not get rendered. That's something you could look into. If anyone knows a way to directly set the clipping plane though to like passing in a position in a normal, then let me know because I'd like to improve this. And then you could also use this for making portals like from original portal. This is kind of a similar technique you do, but that's everything.